welcome to the interesting podcast episode number 192 and happy new year friends we made it to another one and i am so pumped to bring you all more interesting stories from interesting people this year so to kick it off i had to bring out the big guns today's guest is none other than the incredibly talented and versatile i might add morla gorindona you may know her best from her work on Destiny, or Days Gone, or Moss Book 1 and 2, or God of War Ragnarok, or any of the other amazing projects she's worked on. Spoiler alert, Morla is awesome. In this episode, we talk about her playing cello as a kid, always wanting to be an actor, the intricacies of modeling, getting the role of Eris Morn in Destiny, being super involved in the making of Moss Book 1 and 2, her love of performance capture, and so much more. Morla is fantastic, and I am so excited for you all to get to know her. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Please enjoy this episode of The Interesting Podcast, number 192, with Morla Gorindona. Theme song time! day going it's friday we made it another week look at us i don't know what days are anymore i only know because my son has school that's how right. i keep track of the days I don't, I don't and i and and like i can't i can't like he has different things on different days so i actually have to just pay attention uh, sure. to the actual day of the week <laughs> not just like oh it's a school day Right. We'll reassess again tomorrow morning. It's like, oh no, we gotta know. Sure. You have to be responsible. He's gotta bring his cello today and I've gotta pick him up at five. There you go. And like that kind of stuff. He plays cello. I wonder where uh-huh. he got that idea from. Uh-huh. Maybe he, I know a couple things, Morla. Did you know that I played cello? I did. I did. How did you know that I played cello? <laughs> the oh research is extensive, Morla. Oh no! <laughs> I, oh, I'm curious. No. Did, did you pick cello, or was cello picked for you? I picked cello. I actually wanted to play upright bass, but cool. I couldn't. There, that one that wasn't available at the garage sale that my mom went sure. to. <laughs> so it was cello. It was cello. Okay, it was great. Okay. I loved it. I loved it. I still um, I still I'm wondering how you found that out. I um, <laughs> I still can play some songs. Oh, cool! I found out um, because I there's like something about like um this like. It's the same age I play cello, the same age that my son is playing cello. Cool. And there's something about that age that, that like you, like what you are interested in, what you remember in this, in that time mm-hmm. is um like you, it's just there. It's there. Yeah. It's those formative <laughs> years. It becomes a brick in who you are. Mm-hmm. I know what you mean. How long did you play? Not that long. Yeah. Um, like four years. Okay. Were you any good? Did it like? Did you pick it up, or was it something you had to like grind at? I did not grind at it. <laughs> I barely rehearsed at all. Yeah. I wanted to be instantly good at it, and it was tricky too Same. because the place that I went to, the place that I studied, they they didn't really have a cello instructor. They had violin instructor who was like adapting, and there was like massive turnover. So I was always getting a new teacher. Who was like, let's start with bow work. I'm like, I've been doing it for three years. <laughs> She's like, yeah, but your bow work sucks. I'm like, how would you know? You don't even play cello, right? <laughs> That says more about you as a teacher than me. I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'm done. And then it, but then it served as a beautiful piece of furniture for many, oh, many, yeah. many years. What a conversation I mean, it's just piece. Lovely. Like, yeah. oh, you play cello? I'm like, I don't. <laughs> but isn't it beautiful? Just look at it. I'm interesting. <laughs> yeah. Let's pretend I do for a second. <laughs> and then like I gave it away to a friend when I was moving to New York or something like that. Or moving to college even. I don't sure. Know. I mean, that's fair. It's kind of big. Cello's the, you got to sit in a chair. It's a yeah. whole thing. Just grab it. Yeah. 
I can never wrap my head around stringed instruments. I played trombone for seven years, oh. and, I, and I got pretty good at that. But trombone. brass, I could I couldn't yeah. go to any other section with woodwinds, with any sort of anything. Just I guess left brain, right brain kind of thing. Just wasn't really. Is it? I think Is so. It? It's got to be right because some people they rarely cross. I find a lot mm. of brass instruments. You can play a lot of brass, mm -hmm. but I don't. I've never met a violin player who could also play the trumpet. Mm. Not saying they don't exist. Mm -hmm. I've just never met any of them. Yeah. What if, what if I wonder thing? if it's a brain thing or if it's just like a sound that people gravitate to. Ooh, maybe. I picked trombone just so I could go. I was like, boom, <laughs> this is mine. I found my instrument. It's a cartoon. They say I'll cello is most like the human voice. So that makes really? sense. Really? Okay. The thread started early. Okay. I really like the sound of my own voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> has has anyone told you you sound like to. a cello? <laughs> it's not the ultimate compliment. Your voice sounds like a cello. Wow. Think about that. We need to put this in our bag really to compliment one. people later. I like, wait, I'd be like, you have the other half of this amulet Boom. because you said this thing. That's a really good one. I like that. Look I at like that. that. I'm going to, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to know. I'm going to know like this friendship or connection is real when they say you yeah sound like a cello and then or you, know. you listened to that podcast <laughs> <laughs> there's at least one person like i like you <laughs> yeah it's, it's kismet yeah or or you're aware of my podcast interview. exactly yeah. exactly we'll figure it out mm -hmm. so did music how old were you when you started cello Mm, uh elementary school for okay. sure okay. uh not eight nine okay that's early nine ten maybe ten probably ten probably ten like yeah five. okay Teenage okay just little guy mm -hmm. and there is a performative aspect of playing oh, music that was and my all favorite part actually yeah. that yeah. was my mom would always say when i was time for the recital i she's like you were the only one who acknowledged the audience <laughs> <laughs> took a bow after every every tune i came out on stage and then i mean it's also has a lot to do with the way everything's set up because most people like they were playing piano so they just like right. walk on stage took it take a seat faced the faced the piano played like did the bow that was required and left sure. i made an entrance <laughs> <laughs> i arrived Yes. I took I took my breath at the moment, I acknowledged the audience, and then sat down and did the thing. So yeah, it was like, oh, it wasn't really Here so much is. about the cello. It was about <laughs> the the musical excuse to be there. It was about mm -hmm, to yeah hold space in front of an audience. Yes. Yes. And then you became <laughs> the cello. And then I became the cello, and I used my voice to sound like the voice of the cello and then we became one yes yes something. become uh, the cello that's I... that's the goal here <laughs> Moila. <laughs> well it's also shaped like a body right it is and i bet that i knowing nothing about cellos it's probably yes. called a body you've got the body you've got a neck well, this is definitely the neck for sure boom mm -hmm. boom look at us mm -hmm. we're like musical doctors right now Moila. We're breaking down walls. <laughs> <laughs> something. Yeah. We'll We're be, doing something. So, somebody will make sense of this later. <laughs> oh my ah. God. So did did music start first and then acting? Or was it kind of the same no. time it clicked? No, it was acting first. Yeah. It was uh, the very first play I ever did was, I think it was second grade. I can't remember. Actually, there was... There was a Christmas pageant, not a Christmas pageant. Yeah, a Christmas pageant. It was a Christmas. Yeah. Pa there was a Christmas pageant, and there was a play. And now I can't remember which one came first, which is bonkers. Like that's the kind <laughs> of stuff you're supposed to remember for the rest of your life. And I can't remember which one happened <laughs> first. Um, but I was, I was the sheep with the curly horns. Perfect. Mm -hmm. In the, the role of pageant. a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was also um, the first play that I ever did. I was uh, Gretel and the Sound of Music. Ooh. And I knew right then and there that I was going to do that for the rest of my life. Yeah. And, uh, there was celloing. There was 
bellying. Oh, um, okay. One of these is not like the other. There was other ing ings there, but they were all like on the kind of the same thread, right? There was right. there was a there was a there was a um the performance a, a aspect long of it int of of modeling that yes. was like you know here and there. Yeah. Um. Um. But the whole time it was like, yeah, but I'm, but I'm an actor, right? Yeah. Like, you know that, like I'm an actor. Sure. My mom's like, I didn't know. I'm like, oh, that was like the only thing that I was certain of my entire life was the acting. She's like, I thought when you were taking ballet that you were going to be a dancer. And I thought when you were you know, practicing cello that you were going to be a cellist. It was like never in my mind were those <laughs> things ever going to happen. It was never. It was always acting. Okay. Okay. I never conceived of voice acting. I didn't of even course. know. Like, yeah. Even though I like love the cartoons, I never, I never even. Sure. Is modeling harder than it looks or easier than it looks? Because you're making shapes with your body and yeah. it's such a specific skill and it makes no sense to my brain. It's like improv. Yeah. Okay. And it's like improv and dancing and. Okay. Um, and like. It feels very to me. It feels very athletic. It feels yeah, it I mean, feels like makes sense. Like total body awareness, which is that in and of itself is kind of exhausting. Sure. And then it's like a it's it's this balance between uh, knowing what what positions look good, like mm -hmm. what, what or not even has to be what looks good because it doesn't always have to be about looking good. And like, sure. Uh, unless you're doing because there's different types of modeling, right? There's like okay, uh -huh. there's. I mean, if we're talking like commercial print, which was never going to be my kind of thing because I don't really have that kind of Ditto. look. But um, that's a whole set of skills that I never really spent a whole lot of time trying to learn. Mm -hmm. um, but there's like, I don't know, like I'm... I'm like trying to I'm trying to recreate it. <laughs> this is this is not a visual medium, so that's not helping this is very just for us, much. <laughs> uh, so um it's uh it it also just depending on the type of um session. Like I just did I did uh I did a photo shoot at, like last year. It was incredibly physical. I was sore for days afterwards. Really? Just, yeah, because it was like it was very um there was a lot of um a lot of bending kinetic yeah okay. and so a good word. there was a lot of uh just use of core and and um and then holding like finding like draw like i'm i'm um it's like I, th I think of like more like like it was like um, a photo shoot that was kind of a, like a bit like modern dance. And so there was this, um, uh, uh, the idea of, um, what is it called? I'm trying to Seeing like some modern, ebb and flow going modern on. My modern dance training where it's like the like different like appendages as tassels where you just kind of throw them and then like whatever happens oh. um, kind of naturally. Kind of like, kind of like ragdoll physics. Yeah, okay. Actually. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then, but then, <laughs> holding it to be able to get a shot right oh so whoa um wow yeah. that's wild it's that's like fun. it it feels like the definition of art it's like just just this and then ah as opposed to like bend at this particular angle hold mm. click mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. it's way mm -hmm. more heady I, than i thought i very much like the organic nature, like uh, yeah. photo shoots that are organic in nature, but that's not what you know. Sometimes it's it's for a job to fit sure. a <laughs> you know for like a um a spec, and so that is a whole lot of okay. Uh, uh, you know, move your arm a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a sure. little bit more, and then turn your head a little bit, turn your head a little bit, turn your head a little bit more, and and now the other way. Now, okay, tilt, tilt, tilt the head, tilt the head, eyes down, eyes down, eyes up. You know, so I mean, it could sure. be like directed within an inch of itself, or can, yeah. But I love it. I really yeah. do love it. I um, I do feel very in my body when I am doing that, which is a place I love to be. Yeah. <laughs> so. Is that did, were you like comfortable out the gate with it, or was it something you had to get comfortable with? I I was I've always been pretty comfortable with it as long as 
I, I've never been good at like school photos or uh-huh. like my mom, like family photos or like my mom trying to take sure. a picture. Cause I just like want to, <laughs> I, I can't help but like roll my eyes. Sure. But when it's a space and like, this is what we're doing. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like it just kind of clicks in That's cool. for me. Like it always feels, and like runway is a whole different kind of thing. Sure. Which I love as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's... I guess it combines the stage aspect of it as well. Cause you have, yeah, there's something, yeah. there's something very, it's so much less than you think than, well, when it's worked, it's, mm-hmm. um, when I've done it and it's been like, right. It's sure. So much less. Cause I've done it. Like, especially that's the one thing, like I had to really learn how to do that. Like when I was younger, it was like, you walk and you do the thing and you like, yeah, it's all shoulders, shoulders, shoulders and hips and toe heel, toe heel and, and turn, pivot, turn your head. This. And it's like, meh, it's really, it's about finding posture Oh, it's again, it's like being yeah. in your body in like a very real, authentic, powerful kind of way. And then um, and then just moving really effortlessly, like just oh. it's not about showing this power. Sure. It's about just embodying power and moving. Interesting. I see what you mean. Me, it's like that's that, my that's yeah. my that's my walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Everybody's like walk is different, but confidence. that's my walk. Yeah. You know. yeah, it's, I guess in my mind, my head, in my head, the, it's, it's not look at me. It's, cause it's, it's a, that it's more of a persona. It's like, sure. Okay. It's like I'm, I'm putting on a, th- it's, it's, I know I just said like contradictory thing. It's like being authentic. It's putting on a persona. <laughs> it's, it's both. It's an authentic persona. It's yeah. not that it's it's finding a thing from within you that like uh that maybe isn't like the persona that you put forth all the time. Like it's sure. it's maybe totally. it's like a um kind of like I don't know. This is this is feels this feels like a banal example, but <laughs> it it's it's uh it's I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's do it. It's like when Beyonce talks about she put she's like Sasha Fierce right. on stage. Yes. It's still it's her. It's just like a thing that she taps into totally. that is coming from her and it's coming from an authentic place. Absolutely. But that's just not like who she is all the time, right? Right. It's the same kind of thing. So it's like the when it's the walk, when it's the, it's the thing in the head is, it's not, look at me. It's like, of course you're looking at me. Right. Like, that's what you're meant to be doing in <laughs> this moment. Fierce. Right. That's, that's what it is. It's like, this is, this yeah, is what the, this don't. is what it's meant. This is what, right. This is what it's meant to, that we all know what we're here for. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Which Morla saying that outside of that is like, I would never say right. that. <laughs> but Morla fierce all day. Morla, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm into it. Did you do modeling before going to New York or that was something that kind of like got traction up there? I did a little bit before, like I started doing, I started, well, I was probably, I was 12 when I first started, mm-hmm. but it was, it didn't ever, you know, it was this funny thing of, um, I went, I met up with a bunch of different agencies um, and they were like, you're right at this age where it's very difficult. You're not cutie cutie young anymore and you're not quite, you're not a teenager yet. So sure. come back when you finished school and we'll be, mm-hmm. you know, like there's a place for you. I'm like, great. Cool. And in my mind, that meant college. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no. Yeah. That would be too old. 21 right. is too old. Great. So um, so yeah, that's I mean, that's kind of part of the story, I guess, is like the overcoming like is that by the time I was like I followed the instructions. I did uh-huh. what I thought I was supposed to. And then like going to school was non-negotiable. They were like, no, we kind of, I mean, we kind of really meant like middle school <laughs> or high school, <laughs> right. but yeah, 20. And then I going, going back to New York to meet up with the agencies. And then at 21 saying that I was over the hill, Crazy. it was too late. Mm-hmm. And that really knocked 
the wind out of my sails because I always thought this was going to be a part of my life. And so sure. um, I kind of grieved that for a while, actually. Understandable. I never, thought, I never thought about it in those in those terms. But, yeah, I think I did. And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> forget, forget them. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. And I just did there it anyway. <laughs> and rightfully so. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Me too. You know, it worked <laughs> out. Did, yeah. So if you're doing this, so this is modeling, this is happening. Was mm. You said you were an actor first. Was theater the goal or it was any yes. way that you could? Yeah. No, okay. theater, theater was it. And anything Stage. else that ha- Yes. Yeah. Anything else that happened was just, anything else that happened was just gravy along the way. But the thing is, is that... There are very few musicals that I like. I'm not really a musical theater person. So, sure. Ditto. Um, so I was like going to New York and I was like, I'm just going to do like Mamet and, there you go. <laughs> and Shakespeare. <laughs> and I'm just going to do, I'm going to be on Broadway, but it's going to be like only like, it's non-musical theater all the way. And like, yeah, there's not a <laughs> whole lot of that. There's not a whole. <laughs> there's, I you mean, know, there... Broadway. And, yeah. <laughs> so like, oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll figure something else out. So um, yeah. Then, then like voiceover kind of, I had, I had a, I had a, I had an on-camera um, agent. Cool. At the time. And um and I was, um, I was leaving a message for him about some audition or something that I was going on, and uh, it was the days of answering machines. And yeah, yeah. my, uh, the voiceover agent uh, heard my 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 message, and she she's like, "I'm taking over. I'm taking her over. She's a voice actor. I'm taking over her." <laughs> so, I know. So. Tell her when I see it, kid. <laughs> So I I just went on a lot of commercial auditions. Okay, okay. When I was in New York, and I was like, I wasn't, I was not into it. Mm. And but it was a great way to learn all about um, like baptism by fire with um, like learning about mic placement and just you know just, sure they went in to these auditions. They automat they of course they just assumed that I knew what I was doing. It was like yeah. okay, I didn't. <laughs> And um and I just learned real 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 quick, so it was a great way. It was a great training ground. Sure, mm-hmm. I bet learn by doing and doing wrong mm-hmm. most of the time. That's how you it was also a learn a lot of wrong. I don't think I booked a single one of those JetBlue commercials. Not <laughs> not one. I did not get to talk about blue potato chips ah, on so the radio. Close. Not so close. once. Mm. What was the first voiceover <laughs> gig you did book? It was actually in, it was in college, actually. So before all of that, it was nice. for, um, I was doing a play. I was doing Sweet Bird of Youth at Theater Oxford in Boom. Oxford, Mississippi. And um, the, uh, the the sound guy, I guess it was the sound guy, was like, I have to, I have to record a commercial. I'm going to hire you for this commercial. Don't know if you're going to be in it or not. It's between you and a and a male voice. Um, mm-hmm. but, uh, they, like, he set up like a little booth on the stage <laughs> there you and go. I recorded it. It was for the university of Mississippi medical center. Cool. And I, um, it was the first time I got like paid for a job. He's like, well, I'm like, okay, well, it. I guess I'll just, you know, if I, if I get the job, then I'll get paid. He's like, no, it's like, that's not how it works. Yeah. So like, the <laughs> session, you did the session, you get paid for the session. I'm like, oh. Look That's, at that. Wow. <laughs> I think it was like $130, but in college it was like Oh man. Yeah. Ah, Get it. Over a hundred dollars? Yeah, I know. I yeah. Was, wow. <laughs> it was amazing. And okay. um the uh job went to Morgan Freeman instead of me, but I guess I can understand they that. went a different direction. They went a different direction. I find I like that better when the person that they pick is completely different from me. Yeah, you because know, I'm like, oh, right, okay, got you. Just didn't want this. And like a celebrity who knows, like, and who know, like, who, like, why was there ever 
yeah. the second op. <laughs> yeah. Who's not gonna go yeah. with <laughs> and Freeman? They were doing well, that thing where they're like, actually, Morgan, we're not we have someone else. Like if you don't want it, we can we got you. I'm certain that was the yeah, I'm yeah. certain that was that was the deal. It was that's like, what it was. They're like, we was... will we will give this to Morla. And he's like, Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I'll do it. You know, it was just like it, it was more it wasn't even that. It wasn't even I'm sure it wasn't even that good. I'm sure it was more like can we get him or not? We're not sure. <laughs> All right, we'll just go like find some college kid who'll do it for like oh, I don't know, right. hundred thirty bucks. <laughs> and like, don't even love, worry. Just like Morgan. set it. Just like set it up on the stage in the theater. Like don't yeah. even we'll don't figure even, it out. Like, Come on, it doesn't even have to be a good recording. We'll throw a blanket on her if we need. We'll figure it out. You'll be alright. So then, going from that yeah. to mm-hmm. the commercial grind, mm-hmm. do you remember the first voiceover gig you booked after the grind? And they're like, "Oh, here we are." And my first uh, games gig. Yeah, let's do it. Was it X Blades? It was X Blades. Yes, Ooh, that's X-Blades. pretty good out the gate. That was my very, my very, very first dude game ever. Was it different than you expected? I had no idea what I was yeah. doing. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, there you go. That's good sometimes. I totally faked it. I totally, <laughs> I totally, um, I totally oversold myself. There you but go. I also knew I could do it. And I did. And I did. I did yeah, it. I mean, did. I did it. It yeah, was, did. there was a little bit of a learning curve at the beginning because it was um, ADR. I was all ADR. So it wasn't, oh. it wasn't even so. I, I didn't, like, can you do it? I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do that. Please. I can do that. No problem. I was talking to Morgan Freeman once. You're like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I didn't really realize just how much I had to match the mouth flap. Oh, that's tough. So ADR sucks. That was a little, mm. that was a bit of a learning curve. But yeah, I was I was at a um I was at the game developers conference and I was at the IGDA party. Dude. And it. I was just like out there on the like it was in the big I think there was like I think there were like chocolate fountains and stuff. Like oh, it was sweet. like a big it was bougie. And I <laughs> I knew one I knew like one person. That's all you need. Bar- and like barely, barely. <laughs> And I found, I was like, oh, hi. I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, God, boys. Here we go. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I heard you might have a project coming up. And and he was like, he was pleasant enough. He was, he was. Cordial. He was, he was yes. There you go. Yeah. And he was like, well, he's like, yes. He's like, I do. And then he's like, you know. I was like, and he asked me, I, I don't remember, but somehow we got on the topic of like um, versatility. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like really, really versatile. And, I'm so versatile. I'm you don't so even versatile. Know. And, he, and he said, uh, he's like, well, you know, I find that people, voice actors, they say that, but they're really not quite so versatile as they think they are. They, um, like they're not good enough where they can actually have a conversation with themselves right. in a game. Like you'll always be able to tell. And he's like, do you think like you are that kind of versatile? <laughs> and I was said, sure I am. And so then I just started to do it like oh, right there. It. And then, <laughs> I was it. like, I was just like throwing out all these Watch different voices. Like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm like completely relying on like, pitch i'm like i'll just like i will just i will just <laughs> yeah. try to differentiate yeah, my I'm voice and so i'm like here. here and i'm here and i'm like and i was like oh, i don't know i like try and get all these different accents and like do it like really dear southern <laughs> accents and i'm like oh, i'm like talking to a british person out there like i was like trying everything like the most opposite things that i could think of and having those characters talk to each other yeah and he's like yeah like that. <laughs> he's like like that and i'm like perfect oh. So then he, um, so then he, he, he hired me. He hired me for the, for the job. I mean, I had an audition. I had to, sure. I had to show how to do that. I knew how to do efforts, mm-hmm. which like, I, like I had never, I had never done efforts for a game before, but I had taken you know, stage combat classes. And so I knew sure. about like how to sell 
a sound, like when knowing that sound, like, like even on stage, like the sound is what sells it. Right. And knowing like it has to be an authentic, mm-hmm. like authentic originating sounds. Like if it comes from, if it's a punch of the gut, you're not going to be like, ah! right. It's like, <laughs> it's going to be like, Oof, right. So yeah, it's, you know, mm, also having that body awareness it all comes yeah back. look at this having the body awareness to be able to in my very first video game audition ever when they're like okay like do some like uh like you know punches to the gut and i'm like uh, okay I'm like i'm on, like i'm on my flip phone <laughs> <laughs> holding my flip phone be like okay um and then like reenacting it because yeah. that's the only way that yeah. I know how to generate how the sound because yeah. I've only had stage combat training. I'm like, okay, I'm like, <clears throat> you know, and then just like flying all over my, my living room, like trying to sell that I can, I can really, really do it. Yeah. And uh, so I, and then I did, and then I did it and then I did the job and it was a learning curve, but like I figured out the formula and then like was able to do it. And we, we did it. And so the very, yes, the very first game I ever worked on was the lead in a not Ooh. terribly small no. game. Yeah. 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 That's right in the deep end, Marla. <laughs> did and it, you did, did and it. you delivered. That's the big thing. Because a lot of people, yeah. just because you throw them in the deep end doesn't mean they're going to be able to swim. That's pretty good. It's a credit. It's yeah. <laughs> it's there. It's there. It's a credit. I it's will. There. I am. I am. You know, there's um, Ayumi has a costume that is um, ah yes. You know, it's it's a it's a it's <laughs> less it was than a cost. It's it's less than practical <laughs> is the best way to put it. It's yes, it's less than practical. It's not yes. a costume one would see showing up Indeed. in games these days. Correct. It's a very um, uh, that so, era. <laughs> there have been times in my career when I've been a little bit like, hmm. I'm not going to talk about that game. Sure. But I'm like, I love that game. I got to yeah. love that game. Like well, You didn't design the character. You did your job it's very the well. One I did the, you know, it's love that game because I'm proud of that. You should be. 20 something year old that was just like, oh God, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you did uh, yeah it happened you know, it happened <laughs> it lays the foundation it's all about the worst movie i've ever seen i'm in so i get it i get it you know it's like <laughs> i'm glad that it happened because it taught me a lot of things of maybe mm-hmm. don't do that again mm-hmm. but that's part of the story it's the yin and yang of it all you know well without that and just being able to say after that it's like well yeah i'm I yeah. have I have a credit. I have yeah. I got like I was I was very much about emailing audio director. I mean, I I wonder like I wonder like I was emailing audio directors, and yeah. casting directors <laughs> all the time back Been then. In there, in there, and it's just like I was like I am the lead in an upcoming you know like Xbox, PlayStation, PC yeah. game, and I was like list the whole thing of like I over. I mean, like I I don't know if I old oversold that I. I sold the hell out of that game and my 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 contribution to it and um and I mined every single article <laughs> like review for like whatever I could find about yeah. it like and I I I that was the best job of capitalizing on a project that I've ever done in my entire life incredible so, so again, we use the fuel. If there's yeah. gas in the tank, you yeah. get out there. I respect yeah. it. Also, you want to talk about versatility, just sheer character costumes. You've got uh, Ayumi, and then you have Eris Morn. I mean, they are boom, absolute, boom. absolute opposites <laughs> in how, every way. How how did you how did you get involved? And also, what a character! My mm. God, you want to talk about like from an acting perspective? Eris is just seems like the gift that keeps on giving. I love her so much. As you should. I As love you her should. So much. And I love uh I love everyone involved with it. I mean, I love everyone. Yeah. I really do. The community and the development team and just I really do. Yeah. Um how was that audition? Do you remember? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So I had uh, my friend Stephen Haughty, who great I name. had great name, <laughs> who is still a very dear a friend to this day. Mm -hmm. In fact, he and I are um, currently finishing up our GDC talk that we have cool. coming up in March. Love it. Um, Stephen Haughty, he was working in sound design at Bungie. Oh, cool. I can't, I can't remember his exact title. Sure. Um, Something at the, auditory. At the time. But he was definitely sound he was a sound designer. He created mm -hmm. the sound of the of the sparrow in oh, um dude. Yes. That's mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Amongst amongst many, many Yeah, of course. Things. But that was he pretty cool. Had, <laughs> he and I had been wanting to work together, um, but like figuring like how are we gonna work together? Um because mm -hmm. he's in sound design. I'm in right. Video. But uh we happened to move to Washington at the exact same time. Love so weird. it. Speaking and, of kismet. Um, totally. Right. Totally. And he uh, called me up one day and was like, I, I have a way that we can work together. And and he asked, he invited me to, um, to, to help m m create the sounds of the, uh, of the hive for destiny. And um, so that's how I was like, I was in, I was in destiny because of that and then yeah. and then like however many years later was it two maybe like two years later mm -hmm. um if maybe not no it wasn't even that many i don't know a time whatever a it doesn't make any time. sense <laughs> some some amount of time later yes uh i got a call from steven asking if i was home to be able to record uh an audition a directed audition like now and i was Ooh. not home and i'm like i'm not home i don't know i don't know when i will be home he's like and i was like okay okay we'll just as soon as you get home and you're all set up just give us a call give me a call and then i'll set it up and then we're just gonna, there's like a new character and you're gonna do this audition and so i um made it home without crashing and uh <laughs> and like found somehow found some sort of like composure and like and like centered myself mm -hmm. enough um to take this call and uh the director was talking about um this character this woman who uh is kind of on the edge of madness and she doesn't know which way we just don't know which way she's going to fall yeah and i had just gotten through watching this um video about these these people who go like to the edge of volcanoes Ooh. and they're standing on the edge they're, like they're in these suits and they're standing on the edge and it's like it just i remember having the sense when they were watching it that like oh my god they could just like fall in or even like the idea oh, yeah. of like what I would like, the, you know, like, do they have like the, the, the compulsion to like, like allow themselves to fall in or like, what's like, what's going to happen. Yeah. And I haven't just mentioned that to the director and he's like, oh, I just saw that video too. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so there was this, this like halo effect that was happening. And, halo. Mm -hmm. look, at this. <laughs> <laughs> look at us uh -huh. oh, that was not even intentional that's hilarious that's hilarious it probably was subconsciously intentional um and then i mentioned and then there was this whole part about how their she and her team have to go down into the pit this mm -hmm. pit to find the the um the creature the bad guy the mm -hmm. the source of they're going to go slay like slay the dragon it's not a dragon yeah yeah it's not a dra the it's not a dragon. dragon the metaphorical <laughs> dragon yes and uh and i it that also immediately conjured imagery for me of um after after Hurricane Katrina, that we were yeah. allowed home for 24 hours. Like, we were mm -hmm. only allowed home for 24 hours. And so there are people still evacuating. Yeah. Uh, so, like, one side of the freeway is still, it's just 
so crowded and we're going the opposite direction. And yeah. So, and I remember, I just remember me and my team, I guess you could say like the same way. Like I felt like we're going the wrong way. <laughs> we're going the <laughs> yeah. What are we? What are we going into what yeah. what are, what are we even going to find yeah and, that uncertainty um yeah yeah and uh yeah so it was like and it was still i mean it was i mean it's it's always it's always it was still very fresh for me like it was yeah. still very undealt with like the, sure that um, feeling yeah so mm -hmm. i was it was very present with me Sure. Um, yeah, so I I, uh, I felt a connection to her through that. Yeah. Well. And so I did the lines. I did it three different ways. Cool. There's like a, there's an Irish version of oh. out there somewhere <laughs> in my, in my in that external alternate heart, universe. in my external hard drive. <laughs> and uh, um, everything's a multiverse now. We can yeah. figure it out. Yeah. There's an there's an there's an Irish Irish morn out there somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> and I and then I uh, yeah and I got the part and my life changed. Yeah, forever. Woo! Did you yeah. know at the time that there'd be like expansions and like it would be no. a thing? Mm -hmm. No, I was really. I I I was really concerned that it was going to be like this is this is going to be she's going to be way too much for everybody. Like sure. she's going to be she's. Like I was like, I was giving it like the full treatment. Like it was like at yeah. the beginning, especially there was like a lot of, and it was, she was like this, like the really, really, really on the edge, the indexing on the, on the, the, on the madness part. Yeah. You know, like I, um, and so, uh, like, I don't, I think, I think this is, I don't, this is not mainstream enough for everyone. I don't think, I don't think it's going to, I remember like, like being really, really concerned. Yeah. I was really, I was, I, cause I love her so much. I was like, I don't, yeah. I don't want, I don't want anyone to hate her. Yeah. And they didn't. They didn't. They now, I would, didn't. I would say they loved her and they rightfully so. Her. And she has evolved and yep. in like unexpected ways and like these beautiful ways and like, inexplicably in ways that have like modeled and like like or not modeled but in in including ways that have also like been like evolutions in my own life it's yeah. like we are the same right. yeah. <laughs> she's a part of you like you said with modeling that's the whole uh, thing with acting is finding that thing in you it's where the authenticity comes from bring that out and turn it up that's that's the heart of the character absolutely beautiful yeah. Was it, yeah. was it, did you, was the process any different going from like one to two? Because I feel like technology goes so fast and it's like, oh, before we did mocap and now we do mocap and we can have beards now. Like, it, you know uh, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, um, my, my contribution to Eris is that of voice mm -hmm. exclusively. There is oh, a, right there is an Eris who is Eris's body as cool. well. I have not ever met that that person. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. I There's love that. The corporeal yeah. Eris. <laughs> yeah. That's one of my favorite things about like and with games specifically is how many people it takes to bring a character to life. Like mm -hmm. even with there's stunt people that do this mm -hmm. thing and it's like Yuri's the body in this scene, but his stunt double is this scene and then the voice mm -hmm. is this scene. It's like this is incredible. Like mm -hmm. the amount of collaboration that goes into getting a character is just mind blowing. Yeah, it, it boggles my mind how games are. Even, yeah, like, what a media! How they can actually ever how anything ever gets made like it's yeah just, it, <laughs> at all, <laughs> and then it's good after it's like right, right, just, yeah, insane or like emotional or yeah, like, oh my God, mm -hmm. how how did Moss happen? Because it's mm. really good and not like anything else I've ever experienced. It's so different. Yeah. I love Moss too. <laughs> yeah. As you should. Um, Moss is um, Moss is the creation of Polyarch Games. I was 
invited also by Stephen Hottie. I to, love it. Hottie's um, killing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to, um, to, uh, how is, how would I say? Um, I was invited to come on board. I think is probably the best way. There you go. I like that. It's a good it, term. Um, I was invited to contribute. I was invited to collaborate. Um, yeah. and then over time, like, like really, really collaborate and, con uh, contribute yeah. and um so our 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 my relationship with polyarch has also evolved over time and and um and it's it's really uh exciting they they've brought me even in moss the first round of moss like i mm -hmm. was um table reads and um oh meetings and and like just like having conversations about what the characters are going to sound like and like advanced copies of the script and 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 like and way more involved uh, and and yeah and then yeah copies of the script like as as they um as they become available, like as they change over the process, you know, over the course of the time, not just this is the final, final, we're going to get it to you two weeks ahead of time. But like, this is the script. It, everything may change about it. Sure. It's probably won't, but sure. here's the script. This is where it is. This is where we're at right now. Right. We are all, we are the team. So this is where our team is at. So here's it just felt it was always very inclusive. I I have always felt like I was a part of the team. In fact, one that. time I went to go visit and we had like a standing meeting. Mm -hmm. I was invited to sit in the standing meeting and everyone would just go around and talk about what they were going to be doing that day. And then um and in my mind, it was like, I'm just like, I'm observing, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then it came to me and they're like, and everyone looks at me and I'm like, oh, right. Because I'm part <laughs> of the team. So yeah. what am I going to be? I'm like, I am going to be uh, playing the game today. I'm like, yeah. okay, great. All right. So like, okay, cool. 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 Well <laughs> oh, I. That's my wow. work. That's my job for the day. Yeah. I'm, I'm playing the game. <laughs> I love it. And so yeah. it's such, just such a different way to get into something mm. like that. Because from mm -hmm. an acting standpoint, you audition, you get the job, you perform this small part of such a big project. Mm -hmm. But with Moss, it's like you're in every facet of it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then even more so for uh, book two. Like Yeah. Was, I Congrats was given... on the award, by the way. Thank yeah. you. So exciting. Amazing. The Game Awards. That was a very... That was a very fun experience. It's I fun. bet. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, even more so for Moss Book 2. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been it's been really, really, really a gift. And uh, gosh, I can't like I can't, it's it's hard to imagine like what like what even could be next. But yeah, I can't like, oh, gosh, I hope we get the chance to do whatever is what's next. You know? Yeah, me too. I, I, I love finding threads in people's lives as I'm talking to them. And the fact that you are standing in front of someone be like, I'm versatile. Look, here's all these different voices I can do. And in Moss, you're doing all the voices as well. It's like, <laughs> ah! of course. Of oh, course. my God. I have never, Look at this. ever <laughs> Look put at this. that together. Orla. <laughs> my God. You are blowing my <laughs> mind right now. Uh... Just You're right. That's exactly at, what happened. Look at this. I that is exactly because yes, in Moss, I voice characters that speak to each other. Yeah, <laughs> and they're different, and yeah. you're versatile enough to where it's. Um, oh, I love it. Wow. I know. Look I I can. I think I can quit voiceover now. I think. I think you. We got a little <laughs> more we need from you. First. I can. I can. I can. I can. I'm I mean, never quitting. You could. I'm never but quitting. Don't. <laughs> I'm gonna quit long, long after I should have. Yes. Like, right. <laughs> like a year or two after you're dead is the goal, right? You just want to leave a ton of recordings. Be like, release yeah. albums post <laughs> Posthum posthumous. Posthumous. Recording. What a weird word. Like it's just yeah, and the way it's yeah. spelled. God, uh -huh. awful. Uh -huh. Do you so at, at this point? I mean, you've done you've done animation, 
with like She-Ra and with Guardians of the Galaxy mm-hmm. and you've mm-hmm. done video games. Do you have like a, a a favorite medium that when you get that opportunity, you're like, oh, this one. I love performance capture. Yeah. I love performance capture. I, the per- performance capture then has been for games. So I guess I would say that would be my favorite performance capture for games. Is, yeah. Because um, it. It's like it, all of it, right? It, it's like, it's like my. It's like, oh, this is an exact use of my degree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I trained to do. It's just not at all in any way that I ever dreamed of doing it or using it. Was there a harder learning curve learning voiceover or learning performance capture? Um, I think... I think probably voiceover because it's the mm-hmm. idea of it's. I think I went through a time where it's like you have to be still. Sure. Like, oh no, you don't. It's not being still. Because it was like a there was a time where it's like I have to like repress all my inclinations to move. Right. So I don't like it's just like it's 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 like the it's the technical right. Right. Like, I don't want to make accidental noises so the only way that i can think not to make accidental noises is to just not move and so sure. but that's not that's, that's not, not a good idea <laughs> it's uh it's the trick is like you just wear clothes that don't make noise. right <laughs> and like oh like cotton shirts are it so uh yeah. but I, I think i'm sure in the beginning like i was wearing like button down shirts because i wanted to be professional it's like the loudest kind of material it's like sure you know, yeah. like, oh, no. that's a whooshes uh, yes and so uh um yeah so it's it's really about all the energy and like taking all the physicality that you would do on a stage Mm -hmm. and then uh um having that in your body and then allowing it to come out via voice and perhaps a gesture yeah and like making sure the gesture isn't pulling away from the voice or making any accidental noises but um so yeah, there was a there was a there was a kind of a the, like the technical aspect, and then like the oh like finding, like finding the comforts and the um and the ease and like the um like the de- like like rediscover like rediscovering the um all the 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 the, the I don't know like the gushy like the yeah, gushy stuff the about inner it, stuff <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the technical part was hard. And then, and then as far as performance capture, the part that was tricky was just like, oh, it's theater in the round. And like, it's theater in the round. It's theater in the round. I have to keep running. Like, okay, I get, right, I got to remember what's behind me too. But, you know, once you get, once you can like, it's not, it's not a proscenium stage. So I'm not like, sure. I'm not act, I'm not acting to an uh, audience that's in front of me. It's like, okay, right. It's just the world. It's just the world. Right. It's, and then like okay, once you, once you kind of make calibrate. that leap, yeah, mm-hmm. then it's that's then it's just like, then it's just like stage acting. Yeah, then you're in. But but <laughs> but but then also different because there's like nothing. <laughs> there's <Yeah>. No actual. <laughs> but that part never really bothers me. Like the imagining, like the imagining props or imagining the world. Like yeah. that part was never. That was never. That's never really been terribly difficult. That part's fine. That, well, that's good. Easy. I mean, your imagination is like the biggest tool an actor needs to kind of hone, according to Stella Adler. Mm. You know, she knew a couple mm. things. She knew some stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. do, you, what, do you remember your first performance capture gig? Um, Yeah, it was Days Gone. Oh, oh mm-hmm. you got to go toe-to-toe with Sam Witwer. I remember. Uh, uh-huh. uh, Crystal yeah. Adkins. That's right. Yeah, Crystal pretty, Adkins. Pretty that good. was some violent. That's a lot of, ye- like, that's a lot of yelling. Lot of really aggressive. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodness, What's Moira. Yeah. What's happening? It's great. <laughs> we also, as May Benoit, you're just screaming your head off all the time. Did you ever lose your voice doing May in uh, Walking Dead? No. Okay. okay. No, no, no. The only time I ever lost my voice was very early on um, when I, it was one of the first games that I ever did. And it was, it was just a lot of shouting. It was like three 
it was like three, maybe even four hours of sh- oh. shouting two days in a row. Oh, and I didn't, and I, and I was too scared to tell everyone that my voice was gone. Uh, after my voice was gone after the first day, it was gone. Oh no! And I was really, and I was, I was, um, I was not living in Los Angeles, so I flew down and like I, I, I was hired as a local, so Get I it. flew down and I got a hotel and it was like that's all on me to do that because I just wanted yep. I just wanted like that's just what you do right I so, know what you mean yeah and then um and then I show I showed up I did the thing and then I went back to the hotel and I got up to go get some tea I'm like I should go get some tea it's a little good start a little little it's a little uh hot in my throat right now yeah and then I went to go order it and there was nothing came out Oh no! Oh my god! And uh, I had a full, I had a full session the next day. No. Yeah, and I, um, and I had, I had, I had really, uh, I had really built myself as a person who could do it because I really, I really, I mean, I have sure. had like I had, I have, I have theater training, so I've done lots uh-huh. of like projection you know, see, yes projection mm-hmm. for like long periods of time like long rehearsals the whole thing like yes singing all the stuff right so yeah. um like all i did was like it's fine and then i i went i got some advice the advice was you cannot go in to work tomorrow <laughs> and i was like i cannot not go in right to cool i'm gonna though <laughs> right. And I did. I did. And like, I would not recommend that to anyone. Like, mm-hmm. I would absolutely like this is a totally like the everything about everything has changed since. Yeah. Then. Like, Probably I would absolutely feel 100 <laughs> percent comfortable in the middle of a session being able to say, like, I I've I've hit my limit. I do say that. Like, sometimes yeah, it's like, good. oh, wow, this is a. This like I think I've got I think I've got two more takes in me and then I think we're done like it's, yeah you're like great okay thank you and then I you know do that's no problem doing that but this was I was so scared I was so scared that like I was still I was scared because I was I was um I was creating a reputation and yeah and I didn't want to ruin my reputation before it even got started sure and which still is no reason to like if I. I wouldn't I right. would not, like I still wouldn't recommend <laughs> doing it. Like just Yeah. You know, but um yeah, I somehow, somehow, I don't know how, I somehow managed to fake a voice the next day and get through and I was just like downing honey and lemon and tea between mm-hmm. every every single take. Every single take. Yeah. Um Woo. and then I was I was spent for a long time after that i mean i I wasn't working very much at that time anyway so i was able to recover fully but yeah it was rough it was rough what changed i will never do that again i um like what made you be able to be like you know what i can say i got two left in me and like be confident in that um well just the I, I i understanding of (laughs) self-worth yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Honestly, the best thing to have I've heard. <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah, it's you go. Oh, I and then knowing, and and realizing that it's not a fluke that I'm not right. hired by accident. Yeah, there you go. And that it's that I have a value add, yeah. and that it is um, hurt voices happen, and that allowances for time and can and should and are made for that. So, yeah, I love that. Then do you have do you so then do you have any advice for like people that are trying to do what you're trying to do as far as like acting within these mediums or something that maybe you wish you knew when you started? Sure. Yes. Many, <laughs> many, many things. I think uh, I think it's very valuable to dedicate time and energy toward your technology and your craft and yeah. understanding and 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 playing with and stretching and expanding and deepening, deepening like deepening, um, not like tonally, but like like um, 
the other way of deepening yeah, <laughs> yeah. your voice. The, met, the, the, like the, the metaphysical. Yeah. That's a word, yes. I think. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just pulling yeah, stuff out now. <laughs> spiritually deepening your voice. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, or however, like all the ways one can deepen the voice. Yes, yes. Uh, um, expand it. That's a good um, one. But also, like, knowing that uh, all of your life experiences will aid in your yeah. acting endeavors, and that's to, um, to 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 you know say you know like say yes in in your in your acting like yes and yes and your acting but like yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yes and your life as well like, <laughs> yes and your the things the things outside of your career that yeah are interesting that call to you that speak to you uh yeah i like that follow that it's like that thing that, that spirit thing and then i i my friend brad wanted me to ask you i know it's mm -hmm. a thing within the community but how are we feeling about Eris and Drifter? Do we, do we think it's <laughs> is is it is there a will they won't uh, they thing? Like where, where? I, uh, I mean, I think I I think that there is a lot of talk about is it a will they won't they thing? Yeah. I hmm. I I I like I like playing with those conversations a lot. Yeah. I like um I like the way that they're written. Hazel. Mm -hmm. Hazel. Um, Hazel Legend. is yes, she writes a lot of those, if not all of those exchanges. Yeah. And um, and uh, I, 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 I really, I really like her. I like her, her, her sense of humor, her, her whole. I just yeah. like her a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm generally on board for whatever she's got going on or whatever she's, yeah, whatever, whatever she's back in, I'm back into. So, okay. I'm reading yeah. that as a, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I will see. I mean, we'll see. like things evolve as we know. I like it. <laughs> things evolve a lot. So, amazing. Yeah. And just like that, Morla, we've been talking for over an hour. You oh, survived. my gosh. You oh, did my gosh. It. Look How at you. How is that possible? How is that even possible? <laughs> this has been so fun. So oh, fun. God. Like, I knew <laughs> I was going to have a good time hanging out with you, but it exceeded all the expectations. Oh, my gosh. Man, you're Same. the best. Same. This Likewise. happened. Likewise. Our circles kind of orbited near each other's now, and now yeah. we have completed the eclipse. <laughs> you survived. Congratulations. Uh, now. I we th we thrived. We, we we thrived. thrived. That's what we did. That's right. Confidence. You know, we got to walk uh -huh. into it. So, with that being said, before I release you back into the wild, I got to ask: Where can mm -hmm. people find you online? Where can they find mm -hmm. your stuff? Talk to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'm a I'm a big fan of the Twitters. Yeah, yeah. Still, I mean, Ditto. presently, presently, Ditto. I'm still a lot of cool people on there. Uh, and I am. What am I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am. I'll tell you right now. Let me tell you. We're doing this. I you are at, Morla. I'm at actor underscore Morla. Boom. On the Twitters. And uh, I think I'm at Morla Vox on all other things. Cool. That works. Yeah. I mean, with the last name like <laughs> Gorondona, they can find you. We'll figure it out. More love voice I have found is enough to perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know, they know. I love it. You're the best. You're the best. Stop it. <laughs> hey. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Interesting Podcast. If you'd like to follow the show, it's at Pod of Interest on Twitter and Instagram. If you'd like to follow me, I'm at Jedi Brian on all social media sites. You can also find me at brianbalance.com. There you'll find my demos, short films, and a bunch of other really fun stuff. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it and tell your friends. A good rating or review always helps and is greatly appreciated. Let the people know we've got some cool stuff going on over here. Speaking of cool stuff, we now have merch. 
just search The Interesting Podcast on tpublic.com to pick you up some sweet gear. Also, I've made a Patreon, so if you'd like to support the show more directly and get early releases of the show, you now have that option over at patreon.com slash jedibrian. On that note, special thanks to Daryl, Daz, Ben, and Chris. Your support means so much to me, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So until next time, be well.